I'm all for it, man. If you got kids that you can extend and help, like if we can just make it not so hard for them, of course, the kids, they got to live their own life. They got to go through their own trials and tribulations. But if, I mean, what are we here for? Like, you know what I'm saying? I hear a lot of rich people, they got different theories on, man, this is not your money. You got to do all this. But listen, hey, man, I've been broke before. I've been, who the, who the hell want to get somebody to, I ain't have, I've been hungry at night. Who want to do that experiment. I got the money. I just want you to see how I feel mm. in case I didn't have it. Like, hey, man, raise your how you raise your man. Mine ain't going to sleep hungry, man. Keisha ain't allowing it, man. Them folks eat today. <laughs> folks be eating all night. You know, people like us, man, black folk come from what we come from. Our children don't often have the opportunity to experience nepotism. Mm. You know, man, T.I. is right, man. Black people do not get to experience nepotism uh, normally. You know what I'm saying? So it's a blessing whenever you get to see a family uh, come from, you know, wealth and they come from, you know, obviously African-American uh, heritage. And it's a blessing to know that, you know, we actually get an opportunity to, you know, ex ex bestow upon our hard work, you know, our work ethic, you know what I'm saying, to our children to create something, you know, some, some form of privilege for them. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you know, we are we all know what white privilege, you know, is. We've all probably seen white privilege at some point. But, you know, we don't talk about black privilege, you know. It ain't even a thing, you know what I'm saying? So it's good, you know, to, to see, you know, the families, you know what I'm saying, from the uh, the Harris family, the T.I. family, and also, you know, change. Most of these rappers, their kids are going to live, you know, phenomenal, way better lives than they live, but all based on them, you know what I'm saying, rapping and making making music. And uh, obviously having all this uh, money from music and stuff like that, and they get to also give another lifestyle to their families. And hopefully, that what they can do is it can become generational, where the children picks up the up a time and they start to also they don't got to do rap, but it could be you know some type of business where they continue to forward the overall you know legacy and you know continue to you know m you know push the needle and also um, you know create more uh, generational wealth for their their whole entire lineage. That's exactly what the other races have been doing for the beginning of time. And it's just for us, for black people, we're just now figuring out ways to catch up to that and start to actually, you know, you know, pretty much benefit from our privilege and, our, and benefit from, you know, this wealth that's been on this earth. Um, but obviously, if we're talking about, you know, since the beginning of time, obviously we know that we, we've had opportunities and black people have been on top. You know what I'm saying? We ain't always been in this condition that we're in today. Obviously, we know that the cream always rises to the top, so we will get to a point to where we will be back on top. Because um, at the end of the day, you know, that's just the way, you know, everything goes. And the Bible talks about it, you know what I'm saying? We was, it's meant for us to, it was meant for us to, you know, be strangers on the land for 400 years and stuff like that. And we we pretty much feel, um, pretty much uh, feel prophecy. We did prophecy. Now it's time for us to start, you know, reclaiming um, our greatness and it's time for us to start uh, building our own and having our own so I love seeing this from uh, you know obviously our celebrities but more importantly I love seeing them build you know businesses I know uh, 2 chains have a couple of restaurants you know businesses in Atlanta so does TI so I love seeing that you know I want to see us build more infrastructure that's one thing that I would say maybe build more factories you know build some more forms build things that I know for a fact will help us become more producers and you know cut the middleman out and we can start coming, you know, some like people can come to us for certain goods and services rather than us having to always go to other people for goods and services. But that's all I'm gonna say on this video. I'm gonna see you on my next one. I am out. Peace. Make sure you guys follow me if you like content like this. Uh, make sure you guys also, uh, you know, like the video if you liked it. Uh, again, you can comment your opinion on you know, this, this whole entire topic in this video as well. Uh, I'm gonna strive to continue to, uh, you know, bring more videos to you guys, but I need your help by supporting and continue to uh, allow this to, to, to gain, gain more attention and more attraction. Peace, I'll see you in my next video and I'm out.